Hello and welcome aboard your Sizzle Airlines flight. In this video, we will demonstrate our real-time large language model-based flight advisory system developed by the Stanford Intelligent Systems Laboratory. This video will showcase the use cases and unique capabilities of our system. We begin in the cockpit of a simulated Airbus A320neo on runway 28 left at San Francisco International Airport. The X-Plane 12 flight simulator is currently displaying these images to a MetaQuest virtual reality headset. The aircraft we are sitting in is the Tolis A320neo, which is one of the most faithful recreations of an Airbus aircraft available to the general public. Towards the left, we can see the LLM advisory system interface is docked just below the left cockpit window. This placement is similar to that of an electronic flight bag, or EFB, which is essentially a tablet currently used by pilots to access charts, company information, and more. In this early stage of our project, we envision our interface could be run on an EFB, but more research is needed to validate this. As we begin our climb out of SFO, let's talk a bit more about what the LLM system is doing at this moment. The assistant is currently in the armed mode, which means it is listening for a master warning or master caution alarm from the aircraft. These two warnings communicate to the pilot that there is an issue that needs their attention. It is the ideal event to wake the LLM system since it will be able to assist the pilot with whatever issue is at hand. All is going well for our flight. We are in a normal climb, and we are beginning to clean up the airplane, disarming spoilers and retracting flaps. Uh-oh, the master caution chime just sounded, and we can see the master caution light has activated. Our system has now moved into the active state. At this point, a query is being sent via our relay server to the LLM. It is being fed live aircraft data such as airspeed, altitude, and the A320's electronic aircraft monitor, or ECAM system, as well as aircraft manuals such as emergency checklists and databases that contain live weather and nearby airports. On the system interface, we receive a response. The system has read from the ECAM that there is a FADEC A fault in Engine 1. The FADEC is a critical system that provides computerized engine control. Our LLM system has created a plan of attack to resolve the issue. Since the LLM system has received data that the engine is currently running within limits, it recommends the pilot to monitor the engine closely in case further problems occur. It also recommends following the ECAM actions displayed by the aircraft itself, and highlights the important step of switching to the alternate FADEC B system. Finally, our system provides something that the ECAM cannot, a recommendation for a diversion airport. Our system takes into account distance from a given airport, runway information, and weather conditions to make a primary option for diversion. The key benefit of our system is that the pilot receives guidance tailored to their exact situation, and they can receive guidance all the way until the aircraft is safely stopped. Our second flight situation illustrates additional interactive features of our system. We begin again in our A320, this time at 9,000 feet above South Florida. This time we are also using a traditional monitor display instead of the VR. Both types of display are fully compatible with our tool. If we push the query button on our interface, we can force a query to be sent to the LLM with all the data previously mentioned. We can see that the LLM responds that the aircraft parameters are all normal and no action is required at this point. We can then press the arm button to tell the LLM advisor to go back to listening for a master warning or master caution.
Unfortunately for us, we do indeed have a master warning go off, and the system begins to automatically query the LLM with the new information from the ECAM. This time, we have an engine fire. Again, the pilot is recommended to follow the immediate ECAM actions to shut down the engine and stop the fire. We will now perform these actions. Okay, the engine has been shut down. Let's release the fire suppression chemical agent as directed by the ECAM. Hmm, the fire does not seem to be going out with the first discharge. As the ECAM and LLM system recommend, we will discharge the second chemical agent after 30 seconds. For next steps, the system clearly notes that a diversion is necessary and supplies two options for nearby airports. It also notes why we might choose one over the other, such as a longer runway or better weather. Now we demonstrate another powerful feature of our system, interactive mode. The pilot is able to ask any follow-up questions or convey additional information to the LLM. In this case, we ask for some important considerations in preparation for our emergency landing via the text window and press submit. In the near future, we hope to allow for interaction with the LLM system via voice as well. Next, our system moves into the interactive mode as displayed on the bottom left. In this mode, the LLM utilizes context-dependent memory to respond to the pilot's question given the information it already knows about the engine fire. We can see that the LLM has responded to our question with multiple pages of information. The Next button at the top of the screen has become clickable, allowing us to continue the conversation while retaining the critical messages on the first page. At this point, we could continue our conversation for as long as we would like to. And with that, we have reached the end of our demonstration. Thank you for flying with us.